Last time on the vlog, we were enjoying our time here on Magellan Islands in Atlantic Canada. And this time, we decided to dive deeper into the Magellan Islands food scene. And we invite you to join us exploring this hidden gem place like no other. sunrise but coffee first and we are ready to explore if you are new around here we are Halif and Michael the round the world guys we've been traveling full-time since 2019 and with our German Shepherd Kana have been exploring the beautiful North American landscapes in our camper van Sadly, the only Tim Hortons in Magdalen Islands is temporarily closed, or maybe permanent closed, I don't know, but it's not open during our stay here. Uh, so sad. Unfortunately, it's not a good start, but we decided to go to our first foodie destination. <laughs> you know, the place is good when the line is coming out from the main door. This is the Le Petit Captain, the small captain and we're gonna check out their famous smoked meat as advertised on their front window. All right, look at that, we're joining in the line. Well, unfortunately, this is not a dog-friendly place, so Kana has to stay elsewhere. Bye, Kana. Le Petit Capitaine is a popular food vendor here on Maglin Islands, and they put up a great job decorating the inside of the restaurants with rock and roll memorabilia, including some of the Elvis Presley references. Look at these cassettes. Hello. Oh. Hello. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Two, 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 two pieces. Two pieces. Yes. <laughs> Un fish deux. Pour te montrer. Voilà. Uh, Thank you. Merci. All the menu are in French. However, people are so helpful trying to figure out what I needed or I want. Um, so, always work out. <laughs> and I love French fries and poutine here. <laughs> Why not? This is Quebec. Then this is definitely a smoked meat place. Check out. Check, check. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> Oh, you Merci beaucoup. Merci Have a good day. Holy moly. A lot of food. We are hungry now. Utensils and ketchup. Holy moly, this is big. Oh, sheesh. Putin has like a Well, no, I know that. I, I just wasn't thinking it was Putin. And smoked meat. Oh, smoke looks good. I'll tell you that. Mmm, bad food. Tasty bad food. How was it? Mm hmm. And it was good. And for dinner tonight, we are visiting one of the most famous restaurants here on the islands. This is called the Cap. The Fong Fish Shack. I think I maybe mispronounced the name, but they have a lot of different options for food, and I'm excited. That's gonna be good seafood tonight. And order a lobster roll and potatoes that we want? Yep. Lobster roll. Okay. I'm getting a lobster roll and a side of poutine. Michael is getting haddock fish and chips. It's gonna be good. I'm like to have ketchup, mayo. You wanna eat here or wanna eat? Oh no, I guess I, I guess we do need ketchup. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go get a little dish to catch up and bring it over. Okay. Haddock or halibut? I can't It's exciting. Haddock, I think. Yeah, I think it's haddock. I probably should get a banner grill or Zyrtec. Small lobster roll. Hmm. It's 
good job. Pretty good. And we were informed by locals that Cap Do Fong also sells great ice cream. So we are closing up our meal with a great ice cream treat. Ice cream. One thing that they're also selling is the banana ice cream. Oh yeah, it's definitely a good, good, good ice cream. And speaking of treats, off we go to our next foodie destination. All right. What is a visit to a French area without stopping by at the bakery? And I'm currently in the Madelon Boulangerie, which is a very popular bakery here on Madeline Islands. This is a popular lunch slash dinner place. You can get hot plate sandwiches, a lot of it pastries or bread. So anything that they have here all look very delicious. Hey, a uh, baguette? Uh, one baguette? And obviously, I have to get their baguette. <laughs> Merci and macaron <laughs> and croissant. All of these are great French pastries, and we really enjoy delicious treats. Okay, so treats make us thirsty, which brought us to our next destination across the island. So naturally, a place would be a more interesting place if there's some microbreweries in the area. And Magdalen Islands are not different. There is one single microbrewery here in the islands. <laughs> she loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this is one of the coziest breweries we've ever visited. It is inviting. The decor is fantastic. Locals love it. And they have a lot of tasty drinks out of this brewery. They have a small museum explaining how they brew their products here on the site. It's a very popular place for a Saturday. Oh, a lot of options here, and I don't know any of these. <laughs> All in French. So we're going to translate this. We're going to go au menu de pub à bière. And the food is on this side here. Oh, so I thought I was looking at the important part. We can take the drinks outside in the patio, enjoying the rare Meglan Island summer days. Beer time. <laughs> It's a local microbrewery here in town called the uh, Alabri de la Tempet. I think that's what it's pronounced, but it's this, it is really good. Yeah, we both really like our RPAs. No, I was saying your pronunciation is actually really good. I have something that's called the Terre Ferme, which is the uh, solid ground. This is a really good IPA. I had three of these beers on the boat yesterday. This is what I was drinking. It's really good. It's a really enjoyable experience for us. We're done. This place only has beer and no food. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's it from Meglin Islands. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along with our journey all around North America and beyond, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bitty? Oh, bit, bitty? No, bitty later. Oh, but.